just read Love That Dog by Sharon Creech. It's a story about a boy named Jack who's a reluctant reader or writer? I think what Elliot's trying to say is that this is a book about a boy named Jack who thinks poetry's just for girls, and he... Well, let me, let me take it from here. It's a story about a boy who's got a little bit of, um, writer's block? Um, Guys, why are we having so much trouble talking about Love That Dog? I don't know. We read the book, right? Yeah! And it's written in verse and filled with wonderful poems. Should we try reciting our own poems, too? Yeah, dude, let's yeah. have a poetry slant. Yeah! But we can't do it here. The setting's not right. No. Can we get a better backdrop? And how about some music? Ah, there you go. Yeah. And how about some poetry threads? Wow. Nice! That's, that's looking this all right. This poem's called, uh, Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover. Don't judge a book by its cover, because you might just discover that the cover was just a cover, and that if you just read the page, it would paint a picture, a perfect mixture, and become a permanent fixture in your library. Man, that's deep. Um, this is called The Assignment. Why can't I write this? Why am I fighting this? I can't, but I can. A poem do it too. The camera's rolling in front of you. My light shines bright. I can't, but I can. I'm ready. I am. This poem is called Dog's Life. What is a poem? I don't know. Is it just some words that flow, line by line, row by row, back and forth, to and fro? Poems remind Jack of his dog, Scott, the shelter dog who caught his eye. Two best friends you can't deny. Read this book and find out why. Thank you. Wow, that was awesome, that was man. Fun. That was How crazy fun. was that? I guess Jack really did have something to say. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know reading poetry could be so much fun for everyone. And it'll be fun for your class too. Make sure you grab a copy of Love That Dog and share Jack's journey with your class. Yeah! yeah.